Hey Kelvin, we're going to go ahead and take a look at six of your ground strokes. So we're going to first start with your backhand at normal speed and your forehand at normal speed. Then we'll take a look at four of them in slow motion, okay? Okay, so starting with your backhand, let's look at your footwork first. So you're shuffling. Does it look like you split stepped on that one? All right, so you're moving to the ball. This might have been a bad feed, so let's disregard that one. All right, moving on to your forehand. So moving to your forehand, you shuffle. Just kidding. Going to give you another backhand. All right, so your preparation, how does it look? All right. So what you just did there, you stepped across, and your body weight's going that way. What you should do a little differently instead, I'd suggest load your left leg, have your right foot, open so that you can transfer your weight towards your target so you can get your weight moving cross court instead of going away from you all right so let's keep moving forward with a swing you have your racket below the ball which is good transferring your weight now from this angle it's a little bit hard to see um, but when you make contact it's not exactly in front and you have a little bit of the t-rex arms your contact point is a little too close to you and it'd probably be better if you made contact with the ball a little further in front around this area instead of where you made it okay so let's go to your forehand all right so shuffling good okay you need a split step now your racket preparation on your forehand is good your racket is above your head all right now you stop on your right leg all right let's see if you step in okay you kinda hit open stance instead of stepping forward and transferring your weight which is okay but your footwork will improve if you force yourself to step in and transfer every single time so if you look at your contact point it's kinda by your body instead of in front so next time you hit try to extend your arms to get it a little further out because if you look at your right arm it's a little bent. It should be completely straight when you make contact with it. Okay? And your follow through, um, you kind of jammed yourself a little bit. So the main thing is one, get to the ball earlier so you can step in and transfer your weight. Two, extend your arm at contact point and follow through over your shoulder. Alright, so we'll hit, see, watch one more backhand. Alright? So this one, your foot works a lot better you're stepping forward towards your target more alright um, let's see your contact point kind of kind of late alright so it was better than the last one alright let's see your forehand stopping on your right leg you load it alright and make sure next time you transfer your weight by stepping in okay contact point is further in front which is a lot better your eyes on the ball and your fall through over your shoulder. Okay, so work on those three things. First, make sure you split step. Second, get to the ball and transfer your weight forward. And third, make the contact further in front of you. Okay?